Hitchcock is a short film that I made following the life of the famous director Alfred Hitchcock. It was shot as a one-take film in the style of Alfred Hitchcock's movie Rope, and it was done as more of a technical challenge to me and my friends as we were trying to shoot a documentary. We were actually very surprised when it won a New England Editing Emmy last year. The original film was nine minutes long, and this is a short three-minute segment from that film following Alfred Hitchcock's life. Alfred Joseph Hitchcock was born in London, England on August 13th, 1899. He was raised by strict Catholic parents. He described his childhood as lonely and sheltered, partly due to his obesity. He once said he was sent by his father to the local police station with a note asking the officer to lock him away for 10 minutes as punishment for behaving badly. He also remarked that his mother would force him to stand at the foot of her bed for several hours as punishment a scene alluded to in his film Psycho. This idea of being harshly treated and wrongfully accused would later be reflected in Hitchcock's films. Hitchcock attended the Deschutes School, St. Ignatius College, before going off to attend the University of London, taking art courses. He eventually obtained a job as a draftsman and advertising designer for the cable company Henley's. It was while working at Henley's that he began to write submitting short articles to the in-house publication. His interest in movies also began around this time, frequently visiting the cinema and reading U.S. trade journals. Hitchcock had his first real crack at, a, at directing a film start to finish when he was hired to direct the film Number 13, though the production wasn't completed due to the studio's closure. He later made it as a sound film. From his very first piece, he employed the themes of false accusations, conflicted emotions, and twist endings with impressive skill. In 1925, Hitchcock directed his first film and began making thrillers, for which he became known world over. In 1929, his film Blackmail is said to be the first British talkie. In the 1930s, he directed such classic suspense films as The Man Who Knew Too Much, 1934, and The 39 Steps in 1935. Hitchcock made his first trademark film in 1927, The Lodger, A Story of the London Fog. In the same year, on the 2nd of December, Hitchcock married Alma Reville. They have one child, Patricia Hitchcock, who was born on July 7, 1928. His success followed when he made a number of films in Britain, such as The Lady Vanishes, 1938, and Jamaica Inn, 1939, some of which also gained him fame in the USA. During the making of Frenzy in 1972, Hitchcock's wife Alma sufferized a paralyzing stroke that made her unable to walk very well. On March 7, 1979, Hitchcock was awarded the AFI Life Achievement Award, where he said, I beg permission to mention by name only four people who have given me the most affection, appreciation, encouragement, and constant collaboration. The first of the four is a film editor, the second is a scriptwriter, the third is the mother of my daughter Pat, and the fourth is as fine a cook as has ever performed miracles in the domestic kitchen. And their names are Alma Reville. <laughs> 